Hey, Jim here. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We're doing some modifications with some of the hair color. I've done the hair too, but it's like really copper red. So I'm going to just leave that coverage for right now. Um, um, possible to do a small roll in a small production in many large tree, nonetheless. So um, here's what we got going on as we are all Aslings for life for this uh, week. Uh, tomorrow is Seven Kings Must Die. On Netflix, so I suggest you guys download that, or rather, download Netflix and go watch that on your TV. Um, I'll either watch it in here or watch it on a, in the other room on the big TV, as I am in the pub at the current uh, background. So, this is chainmail armor. Okay, so what I did was I made two triangles, put them together. This was going to be a bikini top for a friend of mine, um, but I made a different one because. They actually made this one in, uh, or gave me this steel, and that's too heavy, and, and you're going to need aluminum. And she was just doing it for, doing it for a photo shoot of needing one, so I made one up. And this is, uh, I do believe this is 14 gauge. I could be wrong. This could be 16. I can't remember because I had this forever. Um, this is 12 gauge. I do know this. This is 12 gauge. That I um, just got the, the wire. This is fencing. 12 gauge galvanized steel. What I did was I took my drill, put a three eighths inch rod on it, and made the spiral, the the springy looking thing, and then cut them. And it takes hours, excuse me, days to get to this point right here. And this is one part, and this is the other part, and this is the bigger part. This is extremely heavy, but Outside of the fact that in a certain arrow, which I don't have out, this will go through a bottom point. Will the, the it will go through? I don't know that it would penetrate too deeply. It'll probably go through about that much. And if you're wearing a gamison underneath this, then you should be okay. Um, that really all depends because you can actually, you know, double up, putting, you know, chain around you to where if you get hit you have a good chance of surviving a blunter tip if you've got a needle point biking that needle point's going to go in probably about that far i do have some that they're put up right now and we're getting that It just all depends on how fine of a point you have. This is a bodkin type. It's not bodkin. It's close, but it's got a real fine needle point to it. And so that's going to go into your chain mail. And pretty much, let's do this by about yay far. Okay, so if you don't have any protection underneath that, you're going to get stuck. You're going to feel that. And that could hit your artery or, or an artery in your arm. Coming close to it or definitely cause you a lot of pain and discomfort, taking you out of fight for a sec, which is the point, literally. So I have that. I have other chainmail products. This, this is aluminum. I didn't do anything with this. Uh, kind of lost interest because it really wouldn't go anywhere. But I will shoot it. Now, the minimum standard on anything I do is 20 yards. So I'm going to be hitting this little two by three inch square at no, three by three at about 40 yards or excuse me, 20 yards. So I'll, I'll do the minimum standard on that. That's your um, where most competitions hold 18 meters or 20 yards. Um, I think I said 20 meters and 20 yards last time. I do that. This is brass. Or, excuse me, it could be bronze. Yeah, I think this was bronze. Because I have some little ones. I got these at Walmart. These jump ring, you know, crap stuff. I have stuff I've never even used or put together. But that's what I'm going to be doing. I'd like to do it today. But Mother Nature just said, no, I can't even see right now because we're having a uh, mini blizzard. So I'd be out there shooting, but 
No, I mean, it's been like this for several days now. I woke up yesterday morning and there was snow on the ground and then it all melted away that afternoon. And now we got more snow like no tomorrow. So crazy. So anyway, um, once we get more knowledge on the production that they want us to do as far as our little medieval project in filming, then I'll bring more of that to light to you. Um, <laughs> as soon as we get Mother Nature to cooperate on a good non-windy day, because if it's not, if it's too windy at 20 yards, even at 20 yards, the, the air was not going to hit where I wanted to. And I need to get some ballistics in and, and try these out and see how accurate these carbon arrows are. It's not so much the head or the arrowhead itself, but the the structure of this carbon fiber wooden looking arrow. So still got uh, another set of arrowheads and arrows coming. They're bamboo. They do not have uh, arrowheads on them. And I, but I do have the glue. I do have the uh, arrowheads coming. They'll, they'll be here first before the arrows themselves. If they do come on the same day, that's fine. But they should be here this week. Both of them. I think the uh, arrowheads will be here either tomorrow or the next day, USPS. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to doing more content for you. And, and bow selection, you have to really understand what you want to do first. Do you want to, Are you going in this just for a leisure sport, something to do? Are you looking at putting food on the table? Are you looking at uh, competition? Because if you get out there and you're good enough, they're going to come at you and say, hey, you're good. Won't you join this weekend event we got over here, you know, where we're, we'll compete and There'll be a small door prize, blah, 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 whatever, you know. And, you know, you can really get started like that. But you've got to put the time and effort into becoming very good at this. I mean, I haven't picked up a bow before I started doing this channel in a long time. And uh, I just decided I can do this. I've done it before. I've wowed the crap out of people because I can shoot. Um, and they're like, you're kind of far away and you just hit the target on the first arrow. So they're going, okay, well, I kind of, you know, did this. I rolled it around. It's fairly straight. I'm going to hit that target. Put me out of 50 yards. I'm going to hit that target. One bow, one arrow. Okay. So it just all depends. Now, I, I did get some that were kind of wobbly. So I'm sitting there going, I don't think I'm going to hit the target. If I do, it'll be an anomaly. And, and, and it's one of those things that you really have to know what you're doing. Okay. So if you get an arrow and you do this, and you're just like, well, okay, that's fairly all right. Yes, this is a straight arrow. When you go to a, a, an archery range and they give you their supplies to shoot with, you're going to run into things that don't motivate you to, to con continue. So it's best that you get your own stuff and then go to the range. And then, uh, or if you got a backyard big enough, you can do 20 yards easy. I can do 20 yards in my back, but there's kids and dogs and everything running around. So it's kind of hard. And even though I'm fenced in, you know, it's just like, Keeping people away. Hey, man, what are you doing shooting a bow? I said, I'm trying to film content here. Can't come up here and just start talking. Okay, so. But anyway, it, it's kind of a, a crazy thing. I've already done it, and it didn't work out, so I'd scrap that video. So I'm going to get it, get to the range range, and actually get this, because this is kind of a flat edge on the edge. This is just a point. This is for penetration. So we're going to look and see what we can do with it. I have a medieval helmet. I will be shooting at it. Okay. I have a um, Viking style. It's a little thin, 18 gauge. But I also have a um, medieval uh, Crusader helm as well. And I do have some leather I can shoot at as well. And we're going to put those on dummies and shoot them. No, I'm not the target. But people would say I should be one because I'm a dummy. But anyway, all right. So um, look for more content. You guys stay safe, stay alive. Pay attention to what's going on around you, because I am. And it's it's kind of sort of one of those things to where I wake up in the morning and I'm always checking my bank account. Oh, okay. My bank hasn't crashed. So, yay. It's great to be alive in this day and age. Huh? But anyway, think about bows, what you want, because there's some outlandishly beautifully crafted material out there, stuff that I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing to the channel. I'll have that displayed. And I'll, I'll, we'll go from there. But, you know, one step at a time, think about what you want to do, how you want to approach this. And then come back for more content because I'm going to help you out. All right. We'll see you again.